Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, you're watching IDB. And in this video, I want to share with you all of the new customization features in iOS 18. So with this software update, we're able to customize so much more on our iPhones to the point where it almost feels like a jailbroken iPhone. So I'm really excited for this video. Let's go ahead, roll the intro and jump right in. So the first two new customization features I wanna show you in iOS 18 are on the lock screen. The first one is we're now able to change these two toggles at the bottom of the lock screen, finally. So it was always a bit annoying for me that we had this redundant camera toggle because in iOS 17, you can swipe to access the camera, but you also have this toggle at the bottom right, which doesn't make any sense. So how can we change this? Well, if you press and hold on the lock screen, then click on customize, then click lock screen, you can see that the toggles at the bottom are now clickable. So if I click on this camera one, for example, I'm able to change it to whatever I want. So let's click on plus. And then for this example, let's change it to calculator. And now I'm able to quickly access my calculator right from the lock screen. And I'm still able to swipe to the right and access my camera. So as I said before, in iOS 17, I didn't like the redundancy of the swipe and the camera toggle. So I think a lot of people are going to be changing that. For me, I'm gonna keep the flashlight on the bottom left-hand corner just because it makes sense for me. But it's really nice that we're finally able to customize these shortcuts on the lock screen of iOS 18. And then the second thing on the lock screen is we can now get a gradient color for the clock. So if you press and hold, then click on customize, then press on lock screen once again. If you select the time, you're actually able to now choose a gradient. So I don't think this matches very well with my current wallpaper, but I think if you are looking for a different look on the clock of your lock screen, uh, this is definitely a nice addition to iOS 18. So next up is for the home screen, and you can probably already see it on mine. But if I go into edit mode, we're able to place applications anywhere on the home screen. So the grid system that existed for many, many years on the iPhone is no longer a thing. If you pick up an application, you're simply able to place it anywhere on your iPhone, which is really nice, finally. So Apple was framing this as a way to show off a really nice wallpaper, which I think a lot of people are going to do. So if you have a really nice photo as your wallpaper that you wanna show off, you're able to have your applications around that photo and you can still see your nice wallpaper. So it just adds that extra level of customization onto your home screen. And overall, it just makes your iPhone feel a lot more personalized to you. And then on top of this, in iOS 18, you're able to make any application a widget which is a really great feature because adding a widget before was a little bit annoying. So say for example, I wanna make this weather icon a widget. Before in iOS 17, I'd have to go into edit mode and then click on the button on the top left and then add a widget. But now in iOS 18, you're actually able to do it right from the application icon itself. So if I press and hold on weather, you can see we have a bunch of options right here. If I click on this one, you can see it's gonna morph into a widget just like that. So if you have an application that you want to turn into a widget, it is a lot faster now in iOS 18. And then also on top of all of this, if you want to resize a widget, it is also easier in iOS 18. So before, like I said, if you wanted to have a different size of the weather widget, you would have to remove this one and then add a different size. But here you can see now we have a grabber on the bottom of each widget that is resizable. So if I grab it, I can pull it out this way and make it bigger. And then you can also pull it down and make it even bigger just like this. So if you wanna change the look of your home screen and change your widgets, it is definitely a lot easier in iOS 18. Uh, you can see my weather uh, widget is glitching out here just cause it is a beta, but it definitely is nice that you're now able to change the size of your widgets uh, really quickly in iOS 18. Next up for the home screen is app icon customization. And to be honest with you, I thought this was a feature that Apple was never going to include in iOS. If you press on your home screen, and then click on edit, then click on customize. You can see we have some options here at the bottom. So first is we're able to change between a light mode and a dark mode for our icons. And as you can see there, these icons look really good in dark mode. You can also have it go automatic. So when your phone is in light mode, you'll see these icons. And then when your iPhone is in dark mode, you'll see these icons. So it's kind of nice that you can get the icons to change with the system settings. On top of all of this, you can also add a tint to your app icons. If you click on this, you can see all my app icons can be yellow. And I think I mentioned this in my previous video, but I don't know how I feel about these icons. They look a little bit weird. I think with this color, it looks uh, pretty good. 
What this system is going to do is it's going to take your current wallpaper and it's gonna decide what color it thinks the icons will look best under. So you can see here it detected that I had sort of an orange yellow wallpaper and it suggested this orange slash yellow tint color to my app icons. And honestly, this yellow doesn't look that bad. But if you are going to uh, go to customize and make your uh, app icons like neon green or something like this, I think that's uh, kind of ugly, but I definitely like how Apple suggests a tint color right off the bat and it kind of makes your iPhone look a little bit more fun. And then also you can see we have another tab here at the bottom that says large. And if you click on this, it is going to get rid of all of the labels on your apps. And you can see here all of the apps are now large. I think this is gonna be a very popular option just because everybody knows what their apps are. You don't really need that redundant label at the bottom of it. So as you can see here with my applications placed in a random order and no app labels, it definitely looks like a jailbroken iPhone, but this is just stock iOS 18 with all of the new customization features on the home screen. I really love all of these options. And the final feature I wanna show you on the home screen is the ability to lock your applications. So if you press and hold on any application, you have the option here to require face ID. So for mail, if I click on it and then scan my face, you can see it is now going to lock my mail application. And if I try to open it right here, you can see it's gonna require face ID and my face is blocked by the camera, so it's gonna require my passcode. So it's just a way to add a bit of extra security to your iPhone. You can now lock any application you want. And the final part of this video for customization is inside of Control Center because Apple has completely overhauled Control Center in iOS 18. If we press and hold on the screen, you can see Control Center now goes into edit mode and we're able to completely change Control Center to fit our needs. So the first thing is we're able to add new controls and place them anywhere. So you can see here we have all of these blank spaces. I can click on add a control and I can add something just like this into Control Center. You can also have redundant toggles. I don't know why you would need that, but as you can see, I have two Shazam widgets in my Control Center. You can move these anywhere. So just as you can do with the home screen, there is no grid. So you can place them anywhere in control center that you want. And also just like for widgets on the home screen, you can see that we have a grabber and you can make these widgets any size you want inside of control center. And then another great thing in terms of customizing your control center is you're now able to have as many pages as you want. So here in control center, you can see all of your tabs on the right hand side. So here is my favorites. And then here is my music controls. But if I press and hold, you can see I can actually swipe and I can have as many pages here as I want. And all these pages are rearrangeable as well. So if you wanna have a ton of iPhone controls right at your fingertips, you're able to have that now in iOS 18. And possibly my favorite new feature for iOS 18 Control Center is the Controls API. So APIs are pretty much tools that developers can access to build certain features for the iPhone. And now we have that for Control Center. So what does this mean? Well, it simply means that developers are now able to access Control Center. If you click on add a control, this is the new controls gallery. And when iOS 18 comes out to the public, developers are gonna be able to build the controls right into their application. So take for example, the Tesla application. If you have a Tesla, you can add the Tesla widget right into Control Center. And with one click, you could start your car, you could open your trunk, you can do anything right from Control Center. So you can imagine all of the endless capabilities inside of Control Center now that developers have access to this view. So after going through all of these features in this video, it really is quite astounding how much you can customize your iPhone now in iOS 18, whether it's adding a gradient to your clock, or changing the toggles on your lock screen, or the completely rethought home screen layout, and also completely customizing Control Center, it really feels like Apple has completely overhauled the iPhone with this update in terms of customization. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, and also subscribe as we do have more iOS 18 content coming. With all that said, my name is Michael with IDB. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.